All right, whenever you sort your data, you're going to sort your least important column first and your most important column last. Okay, so um, certain things that I think are unimportant are like the street number and the street name. So I'll go ahead and I'll just short, sort these. What largest, smallest, it doesn't even really matter. And then uh, I'll do street name, A to Z. Okay, now we're going to get in things that are most important. What's the next least important thing? Uh, carport. And then, um, let's say price per square foot. Largest is smallest. Now we're getting to the most important things. Bedrooms, largest is smallest. Bathrooms, largest is smallest. Garage, let's say they're adamant about having a garage. They need a garage, whoever we're looking for. And then list price is extremely important. Large is the smallest. Let's say they have to stay in Brevard County. So we'll do that. And then finally, agent. <clears throat> okay, so you can see our very last column that we filtered is our most important that's why all of these are sorted all of Adam's listings are first it doesn't matter even even though uh, say Mar has a, a few houses that are of larger square footage they're not going to be above any of Adams and the same thing goes so just remember when you're filtering or when you're sorting it's the most important column gets sorted last and then finally you can go here and you can filter say you don't want to buy from Mar or Peter Peterson you can remove them from the table completely or say you don't want any houses that don't have a garage don't even want to consider them. Now they're removed. <clears throat> Alright, so that concludes my tutorial on Excel tables. Make sure to go and check out my website at excelfornoobs.com and um, check out all of our other videos. Don't forget to subscribe, rate our videos, comment, and share. It helps with the ranking in YouTube and Google. So it really helps. Alright, thanks for watching and have a good day.